Hi guys, Impact is here and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Again, this is going to be a free for all gameplay, a road to 100 wins. We're currently 4 0 because of the bonus episode yesterday, but this video is obviously getting recorded on the day it's going to be released because I just wasn't in for it yesterday, I was a bit tired, so I ended up just letting myself not do it yesterday and I thought I'd do it today considering now it's the weekend and I've got a week of school as well so I had some time to do it so yeah that's nice and if you can't already tell I've just woken up from this I was actually gonna do this video two hours ago it's currently 24 minutes past 8 in the morning I actually woke up at around about half past 6 so about two hours ago I was gonna do it then but didn't think I got sufficient sleep, probably only got about 5 hours, so I was uh, so so pretty much like, do you know what, screw this. Went back to sleep and then obviously woke up again. But, there's not really much to talk about, but there is some little news. I don't think there's too much, but there is little news. By little news, I mean the numbers on the back of the shirts for Arsenal. We've changed a few and we've given Xhaka his number. We'll start with them in the order it was done. So we've we changed Alexi Sanchez from number 17 to his traditional number 7, his international 7. And then we also checked, and then after that, the second change we made was Aaron Ramsey from 16 to 8. So he's now obviously, obviously Alexi Sanchez take, took number 7 from Thomas Rosicki because Thomas Rosicki has gone from us and Aaron Ramsey's taken number 8 from Mikel Arteta because he's gone and then um, the next one we made was actually Xhaka who got number 16 so obviously he's taken that from Ramsey after his change to number 8 I don't think that apparently he, I'm not too sure what his international number but is but it's apparently 34 I'm not too sure about that and then the last one we made was Alex Iwobi. I believe, yeah. His last, the last one we made was Alex Iwobi. He went from a, a nice, long, lovely big 45 to Alexi Sanchez's number 17. So obviously, people in the comments after this happened, in, on Facebook and on uh, on Facebook comments and Twitter tweets. Some of them was happy about it, and quite a bit of the uh, fans was absolutely just shocked about it and didn't believe it should have happened. Just because he doesn't, apparently he doesn't deserve it and he hasn't proved himself yet. To be honest, from my point of view, hang on, sorry about that, swapping video, uh, swapping clips. So anyway, from my point of view, I reckon he does deserve it. He's a fantastic player to watch, I think he's done plenty of work to deserve that. So obviously scored in two games, he's given, he gave our first team life again. He created us to, well he didn't create us, but he gave us the chance to actually get a move on again and actually get these goals. Cause in that struggling period, he was the one who started it all up. Obviously he's not going to be the best for players just yet, because he is like again 18 or 19. I think he's actually 18. So, actually no, he is definitely 19. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's 19. So he's not going to be the best just yet but the thing about it, the more games we give him especially with Zumbo he's gonna get a lot more playing time or should technically get a lot more playing time he's gonna be probably one of the best right mids we're ever gonna have because he's he plays right mid for us but he's, he's I think when he plays for the youth team he plays for a, either in the uh, striker role or the cam role but that depends who's playing on the under-21 squad as well, because obviously we've got Jeff Rene Adelaide, who could play on the uh, in the cap in the centre role. We've also got Chris Willock, who plays on the left wing, but could also play striker and right wing as well. We've got Maldini... Is it Mal... No, it's Mal... Mm, Mavadini. There you go, Mavadini. Maldini's a legend centre-back for AC Milan. Mavadini, he actually plays up front. I'm pretty sure he could play on the right wing. We've got plenty of players who can go anywhere for us, so he can pretty much play any attacking role. <sighs> Why do I have to yawn? So, he's a brilliant player, Alex Avobi. 
next season is going to be an amazing season for us. And obviously today is the 28th, so tomorrow expect the predictions for the Premier League table because the uh, the Championship playoff final is tonight at Wembley. Hull City versus Sheffield Wednesday. Now, who would I like to see up? I'd like to see Sheffield Wednesday up, to be honest. Hull City is the easier opponent, so technically I should have chosen them to come up. But Sheffield Wednesday hasn't been up in a while, so... I thought, do you know what? Let's let them come up. Well, not let them, but... It'd be nice to see Sheffield Wednesday up once, again. Whereas Hull, they just get demolished by every team. They haven't got... They they play too inconsistent every single game. They're like, they can't... They've got nothing to throw at big teams. If you look at it, like, three times in the FA Cup, they've played uh, Arsenal in a row. We beat them three... Obviously, they was 2 up in the FA Cup final in uh, 2014. And then we sp uh, we ended up winning that 3-2. They haven't got composure against a big team. If you're 2 new up, you don't want to go into defence if you want to keep attacking, to be honest. And get more goals to secure your victory. And then, obviously, in the following year, we beat... Um, in the, the what round? It was 2-0... 2 new in round 5 I think and that was Alexis Sanchez getting 2 goals maybe I know he got 1 goal in it at least and then obviously last year we beat him in the quarter no in the um, round 16 I think and we beat them 4-0 in the replay at the home stadium obviously we drew 0 nil at home and then we beat him 4 nil. so yeah but obviously, um, this video will go live before the Road to Prestige was going to be today because I've not yet recorded the Road to Prestige. This will be on YouTube and on live on YouTube way before that, obviously because I'm recording it on the day of the videos going up. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And be sure to check out the Road to Prestige episode later on today. And I will see you in the next video. See you later.